Dear Blender, Today I learned how to create this dark and eerie exit. It came to my mind when I saw the default cube. It is easy enough for an absolute beginner, yet creating that taught me many useful things. The scene contains the structure, a sun, and a spotlight. And that is all. It began when I scaled up the default cube by five times, removed one vertex, and introduced loop cuts to create the door, which can be done by pressing Ctrl R. Then I turned to the back, switched to face selection mode, selected the door face, and extruded it forward on the X axis. That created the door step. To create the door, I extruded once more, but this time by zero. To fling the door open, I needed to rotate the plane, not around its center, but around the hinge. Therefore, I selected the hinge edge, placed the 3D cursor on the edge by pressing S, and set the pivot center for rotation and scaling to 3D cursor. That let me rotate the door plane around the hinge, when I entered RZ35. After that I removed unnecessary faces and also didn't forget to remove doubles on the hinge. Then I added the spotlight which will represent a flashlight in hand. In properties window I found spot shape where I could adjust the angular width and softness of the light. Then I found the view that I would like to render and was very thankful for the command Align Active Camera to View, which is under View Align View. To further adjust the camera, I found Lock Camera to View function, which appears when you press T. A render at this stage was rather boring, either an old Blender engine or a Cycles engine. So I changed the world color from boring gray to mysterious dark purple and gave the spotlight what I consider a flashlight color and finally set the lights low, which means setting the emission of the sun as 0.1. In the rendering option I set sampling to 64. This is a rather low value, but I like the mysterious feeling of the noise. I almost forgot to add bevel modifier, which eliminates the uneasiness of the perfectly sharp edges. With that I was finished. Thanks for watching and have fun with Blender.